This is Spanish 1, Introduction Sentences 65 through 68. Now, before you do these sentences, there's, a clip, there's another clip you're going to want to watch. You want to watch the clip labeled Plural Words, S-E-S-N. Again, you're going to want to check out the other clip labeled Plural Words, S-E-S-N. Number 65, the tall girls sing very well. Las chicas altas cantan muy bien. Las chicas altas cantan muy bien. 66. The short boys dance well also. Los chicos bajos bailan bien también. Los chicos bajos bailan bien también. 67. Ana and Enrique speak Spanish. Ana y Enrique hablan español. Ana y Enrique hablan español. And finally, 68. We girls study also. Nosotras estudiamos también. Nosotras estudiamos también. Now, one thing you'll imme almost immediately notice is that words are backwards. Uh, Spanish, when they speak, it sounds backwards to an American. In America, we say tall girls. And in Spanish, we say girls tall. In English, we say short boys. In Spanish, we say boys short. Okay, so remember, adjectives generally follow. In America, we say uh, big river. In Spanish, they say river big, which is Rio Grande. In English, we say white house. In Spanish, they say house white. So just remember, description words generally follow nouns. Okay, now, here's the problem. The ends in S. Chicas ends in S. Okay, tall, altas, ends in an S. So you make these things plural by adding S. But notice, you make sing plural by adding an N, because it's an action. So normally make words plural by adding S. Unless it's an action, then you add an N. Okay? Now, 66. The boys shorts, they dance well also. Or the boys short, they dance well also. Notice, los ends in OS, because chicos ends in OS. Short follows and since short is referring to chicos, and since chicos ends in os, short has to end in os. So literally, the boy's short. Now, this is an s, this is an s, this is an s, but this is an n. Why does bailon end with an n? Because by dancing is an action. Everybody say action. Action. And how do you make actions plural? You add an n. Oh, I get it, Mr. Holt. Most of the time to make words plural, you add an s. Right. When and only when do you add an N to make a word plural if it's an action? How am I going to remember that? Everybody say action. Action. What's the last letter of action? N. So you make an action plural by adding an N. Now, Ana and Enrique speak Spanish. Now it's the two of them together. So it's Ana and Enrique. They speak Spanish. N means they. They speak Spanish. Okay? Now, finally, if you just said estudiamos también, that could mean we boys study or we girls study. So remember, Spanish is spoken quickly, so they say things twice. They don't just say she speaks, they say she she speaks. They don't just say we need to go to the bathroom, they say we we need to go to the bathroom. So don't just say estudiamos también. Say nosotras estudiamos también, which means we girls, we study also. And if you said nosotros estudiamos también, it'd be we boys.